Hello. Double click the installation file to start the setup. Click next, then accept the end user license agreement. Once you've read it and are ready to continue, click next again, which will take you to the folder selection for the installation. Proceed by clicking next. By clicking install, the installation begins. Wait about 20 seconds for all files to be copied, and the application will be installed and ready for use. DB Playout System consists of five individual modules. The order in which these modules are started, as well as their registration in the database, is very important. The first application to be registered, and also the first one to be launched later, is DB Central Management. In a drop-down list where you need to select an IP address, it is important to know that if you are using all modules on a single computer, you can select the localhost address 127.0.0.1. Otherwise, you should select the address where central management is installed. In our case, we will select localhost. We have successfully activated this module. The next module we activate is DB Playout, which is also the second one to be launched when using the applications. In the window that opens, we enter the name of the playout. It is important that the name is unique, otherwise, it cannot be entered. From the drop-down menu, we select the IP address where the playout is located, while in the last field we enter the IP address of central management, thereby linking the two applications. We will enter playout, the localhost IP for playout, and localhost for central management. We have successfully activated this module as well. The order of activation of the remaining three modules is not important, either during registration or usage. Unlike the first two, these modules do not always need to be running. Now, I will show you how to register the remaining three modules. Now we have successfully activated all five modules and are ready to begin learning how DB Play works and how it can enable your TV channel to operate seamlessly 